I don't have Limpian spoils. Oh. Yeah. Okay, don't worry. anytime. Good morning, Singapore. People's Voice is in Pioneer SMC this morning. We have a team of more than 30 volunteers who are all ready to meet the residents and distribute bread under our Bread for All program. Now, do not underestimate the value of a loaf of bread. It can work wonders for many people who need food. Bread actually represents bread and butter. The kind of issues that we face every day, like high cost of living, uh, high cost of uh, healthcare and transportation. But I am not going to talk about bread and butter issues today. There's one issue which I'd like to talk about is university education. I think this is an issue that concerns many parents who have children aspiring to go to university. As some of you may know, the government has set aside $130 million for scholarships for foreign students to go to university. In addition, there's another amount, $210 million set aside for tuition grants for foreign students. So all in all, the government actually is spending about $340 million a year to educate foreign students in Singapore educational institutions. And most of them will, have, will go to the universities or to polytechnic. Then what about our own students in the polytechnic? What, what, sh what can they do? Now in the polytechnic cohort, approximately 5 to 10% of the students can get a place in the university. The rest may not be able to enter the university. Now my question to the government is, what is the government's policy towards university education for our Singapore students. In January last year, 2018, the government has downsized junior colleges in terms of its capacity. Eight junior colleges were downsized to four. So that means there will be less A-level stu students graduating uh, for admission to university. And in schools, I know that some of the schools, principals and even uh, form teachers have advised their O-level students, either in the express class or in a normal stream, to opt for polytechnic instead of JCs. So in the long run, I'm afraid that less Singaporean students will enter university. That means less of our Singaporean boys and girls may not have a university degree then what should they do? Can they compete with foreign uh, employees, uh, foreign workers in Singapore who enter Singapore with all the qualifications they have? So time will be very difficult for our own local students. So the policy of the government has to be clear. Is the government actively promoting university education for our students or the government is actually trying to bring down the number of university graduates among our boys and girls. So this is an issue that I hope parents would ponder about. Well, there are other things that we, sh we, sh we can talk about, but uh, to, to end this uh, short um, conversation, uh, we have a team of people who are all ready to start work. So we will uh, um, give you a few, more, a bit more information after this visit. So thank you very much. See you again. People's voice. People's voice. Is the DJ? Ah, is he? Hello, I'm Hong Kong. 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 I'm Hong Kong.